all right welcome back to the channel it's nick here 45 degrees sailing so we recently uploaded a video which was picking up a mooring over the stern single-handed um, and that had a great great comments on that thank you very much for the support now what we want to do after all those questions is want to show that one and a little bit more breeze than we were in because it was a calm day and two show how we rotate the boat around onto the bow after we've done that because we had a few questions about that so we're going to get set up for this maneuver now and we're going to go through the maneuver we're here um on a sun odyssey 49 with david oh sorry 49 five i remember that from that my 2016 year was on a, on a on a 49 so um so sun odyssey 45 um, 2007 isn't it? 2008? 2007. 2007. Um, and we're going to set this up so David's actually going to do this. It's his first time doing this so we'll see how the training works. So we're going to come in over the stern, throw the loop because some people wanted to see that as well because when it is really windy you're not necessarily going to be able to reach down and pick it up or hold it. So we're going to do the loop throw uh, with a bite on it so that we can see how that works. Cinch it in then put our second line on, running to the bow, and rotate the boat down onto the mooring. So, here we go. So, on this, if you're doing a loop, then I want this back, yes? Yes. So we're gonna do a throw, we don't have to worry about it, uh, trying to run to get it on the cleats or anything like that. If we get our loop over our boy, um, over our marker on our mooring ball, then it will just captive, capture it itself. So with the line running around like this, we're gonna, uh, we don't have a foldable swim platform on here, so we are gonna set it up on the back because once David leaves the controls, He's going to want to put the mooring ball right as close as he can on that windy day or whatever and then do this this toss to do the lines now the way we set these up is we want about three or four loops in one hand and three or four loops in the other now the moment that's coming up a little bit short on us have we got any more tail on that no, very little at the time. so ideally we'd want a longer line than this but we're going to try it with this one because it should come up quite close okay so we're going to have loops like this loops like this we're going to swap those hands and lay them down Lay them down ready. And what we're trying to do is do a toss apart so we can lay that over the mooring board. Now, if you get close enough, then you can just drop it over. Um, and if you don't get close enough, you can try and throw it to it. Worst case scenario, you miss it and you drift away. But because you're stern into the wind, you've got the most control in order to then, okay, let's just top up our movement towards the buoy and try it again. So our mooring ball is up here and the wind is coming pretty much from this area. We can see how that boat's laying. So we're expecting to reverse into it at about like this. Alright, so we've got good speed on in reverse now. And I like how David's just backed off the pace, so he's just keeping the momentum up towards this boy. Because remember, when we get to it, we want to be basically stopped. We don't want to run it over or push it, push it away. We just want to be stopped. And if you are going very fast when you arrive at it and you push it into forwards, your prop wash pushes the boy away from you. So <laughs> you don't want to be going faster than you need and with your stern directly into the wind you don't need to be going fast at all <clears throat> this is an example what, what have we got wind wise here we've got um, seven gusting up to 12 so not a lot of wind but oh that's a good gust actually okay 14 14 15 knots okay So good move here is if you want to adjust your line you can just bow thrust a bit to bring your bow over. There it is. Okay, neutral now. And now we're just moving up to it nice and slowly. Good control. And see we've got the line very much in vision here because if this went overboard then that's something that would go straight into the propeller. Don't want that either. Okay, might need to top up our speed just a little bit. 
No, oh, he's, he's confident. I like it. No, I think you're right. <laughs> a little bit. But right now we're just stirring straight into the wind, so we have complete control over where we're going. And if you're lucky enough to have a bow thruster on the boat, then you can use that to adjust your position as well. All right. Maybe one more, yeah, one more little bit. Okay, so now he's neutral, he can move to his position, get his line ready to throw. In this case, you'll just be able to drop it over it, but you can throw it or however. He's inside the line. <laughs> okay, so in that case, it over slightly to the port side. So perhaps you aim more for it to come to the cleat that you're near. All right. You see how the forward thrust blows um, pushes pushes the boy away. So always be aware of that when you're when you're doing it. Yeah, being inside the loop doesn't help. What's that? Being, being inside, inside the, the loop Yeah, help. being inside the loop's not good. <laughs> it's fine. But you know, there's no No rush. And that's the thing. When you're... Of course, all these people over here think you're a real lazy gear. Oh yeah. Because I'm yeah. doing all the work and you're just at their film. <laughs> so what happened there? Overcorrected. Overcorrected a little bit. We'll get it back. At this point, if you give it a little little burst, yep, that's it. Neutral, and use that momentum. Bow thrust now. That's it. Now go to your loop. That's plenty. I'm not going to catch that. Oh, is he? Is he? <laughs> this is why I think we need a longer line. Okay, so that's a real good point. Like that's a 14 meter line, uh, which really in this case is just not long enough. So you want to have yourself a 20 meter line or something that you've got uh, enough to have on your cleat, back to your cleat, and then good space in between to do the throw. We're still going to, he's, he's, he's absolutely committed now. He's going to drop this over that boy with a, with a, with a, come, come hell or high water. We've got quite a crowd now. I think you need a little bit more power. That's it. Nice. That's right. Nice. Here comes the drop. Now, obviously, you could hook that with a boat hook at this point as well. Hey! Alright, so now we're just going to feel this. We don't need any power. Oh, he's going to go forward anyway. <clears throat> Don't need any power to feel what's going to happen here. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, but then that's going to pull up and see how it, it loops around the base of it, and now you're secured to one point. Okay, you still on forward? Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, go neutral. Go neutral. Oh, that's why you need to go. <laughs> All right, don't want to I'm do just that. I'm testing it, but it's actually secure on the bottom. Yeah, you've got to be careful because you actually collapse the buoy if you do that. We don't want to put all the weight on this. The weight's designed to be on the ring at the top. So now that we're settled on it, and there's a good, good, there's a good breeze running actually. We've got 12, 14 knots, which is great. So now you can just use your throttle to um, reverse yourself close to the buoy and pull in the slack. Use your throttle and pull in the slack. So we're going to do that until it's choked right up by the starboard quarter here to the point where we can put our other line on. But, but right now it's just grabbing the tension and then holding us and putting it back. Okay, so we're going to come up closer to it until we can get our um, our turnaround line fit threaded through the top. Um, and it just you just take your time. Just take your time. You neutral. About like that, and then we're locked off. Now, especially on a windy situation, 
you don't want to be sitting doing this to the to the boy for a long time so you know you get to hold your bearings you're tied up you're all good and now we're going to get our control line and we're going to tie it onto the boy and trans sorry not a control line a transfer line tie it through the boy and then get it up to the bow so we can let the boat rotate round onto it and we can do the same procedure by just coming upwind a little bit and pulling in the slack all right we'll do that now <laughs> boat hook, boat hook deals. Oh, got such a sore elbow, I just can't help. So at this point he's just got to get it over and get it threaded through. This is partly around the swing of the boat. And it's that's not particularly easy right now. Um, because of course the boat's swinging around on it. One thing I can do is I can bow thrust to port to bring the stern over and a bit closer to take the tension off. If he can get his line through there now. There we go. All right. Now don't try and hold, the, we haven't tried to hold the weight and he's gonna tie a bowline. And he's gonna change that bowline and he's gonna tie a very long bowline so that he could adjust it from the bow and reach it from the bow if ah, needed. Okay. okay, so tie a bowline with a long loop in it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, give that some space. So, we try a nice long bowline in there so that you could reach it and untie it from the bow, and it's all set. Now we can let that end go, and we control the line from here. So we now have our bowline attached, and we've still got our, our main line underneath the buoy, but we've got to tie it on here. Now if you had a long line in this position, that would be much better than um, tying the bowline because you could double the line back all the way to the bow. Okay, so now this line it goes from the buoy all the way up to the bow and we're now going to be secure on the bow. So what we're going to do here is a single-handed single handed thing. He's going to pull, pull a bit more slack and all the slack that he can he'll pull in on that and then just cleats it off. Cleats it off there at that point. We're now pulling against our two lines so there's no point trying to pull it any harder. So we'll cleats it off there. We're now going to come down and release our double line at the back and we're going to apply just a little bit of reverse to the engine to pull upwind and then move forward to get our other line. So first the uncleats here, retrieves that line in. Once he clears all of that line from the boat, he's going to go to the helm and reverse upwind a bit. There will be a bit of tension on that because there's a lot of uh, drift around there. So there, now to the engine, just give it a burst upwind. And reverse. That's it. A bit more. And neutral. And now we can move to the bow and break in his line. You can see the slack that's in it now and we're still moving upwind. You don't need a lot of speed and you don't want a lot of speed. You just now want to pull in this slack line. And once the weight comes on it, you don't try and hold it, you cleat it off. So, is, but is it, how, Can you get more than that? Look slack. That's it, because you're pulling the boy closer to the boat. So if it's, if it's easy enough to pull, we're still drifting backwards, which is great. So in one move, and the weight will might start coming on it now. Ah, one move, we're already there. Because of that little bit of reverse, the line of the mooring is down here now. That's fine. We're going to rotate around it, um, and we are secure on the bow there. We can now get our second line looped down and dropped in, which we'll do in a moment. So just like that, we rotate around. We're now pulling down on the wind, and we're setting to the normal position. So from here, we can either keep choking this up. Now, if it was a very windy day, say it was really windy and you weren't able to pull as much in as David got this time, or the, the reversing just didn't work, that's fine. You end up on a long line on your mooring. That's okay. When you're on a long line on your mooring, you can then come up to the bow, and if you've got a free anchor capstan, you can use your anchor capstan or windlass to 
pull that mooring in. Uh, if you don't have a free one, like this is not this is not a free one. You can't put a rope around that. Uh, remember to take the chain off before you do so. But you can then pull in the slack by pulling the boat forward or motor forward a little bit. Come up, pull in that bit of slack, motor forward a little bit more. Now, a, a, a couple or any any more than one person, that's really easy. One motor's forward, you communicate. The other one pulls in the slack until it's nice and close. Here, we're going to now do a little bit of magic and we're going to drop a line through here and hook it with our boat hook. Now this part can either be done fun kind of like fishing and with a little bit of patience or um or you can just jump in the water and thread it through. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. Oh look at that. Look at that. Cool. Alright so now that comes down to complete. One line on, weight off this, and undo the bow line from there. And when the bow line's undone, don't let it go. Because it's already threaded through the ring. <laughs> okay. Now understanding Long, what we were doing yeah. is now, but the course is the, it's, it's the compromise between long bowling coming up through here. Okay. And not getting the knot through the fair lead, yeah. But if you if you if it was quite a lot longer, then yeah. That's it. There we go. <laughs> making sure you hold on to the right end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. It is a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. Much less stress, much easier to do. Why would you do it any other way? Yeah. When if you think about it, picking it up over mooring, if you've got crew. So you think about this in the sense that, hang on, let's put that here. Oh, in the sense that if you have crew, can still pick that line up over the mooring someone can just while you manage the helm and the throttle the controls someone can thread the the long line through the buoy and then you can reverse past it as they walk it to the bow this rigmarole we've gone through here today is if uh, a really good thing if you're in very windy conditions and you just need to get hooked up and safe and slow everything down but if you're in in conditions like this or if you're comfortable on the helm doing this be very careful of putting the prop onto ropes and lines and mooring balls but you could then reverse pass just as David did on his own but he did it in three pieces because he was on his own uh, you reverse pass they walk it to the bow they cinch it up and you're done in two moves so you know there's there's there's, there's good 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 stuff here nice beer 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 this is why we go there. Good.